It's April 11, 2014. Oh. It's April 11, 2022. And the weather finally is nice. And so I'm walking to my garage spot to put the Laminex, Laminex, Laminex uh, yellow film on my fog lights on Rhonda. I had two choices. I ordered two different film. One a, a amber color and the other one a, the yellow color. And so I was wondering whether to put the amber or the yellow on my fog lights. The amber would be more consistent with the A-pillar lights that I have on Ronda already. But the uh, yellow uh, filter would be more consistent with the fog light. Most fog lights are yellow. So I've been debating back and forth for quite a while trying to decide which way to go. And I finally made a decision to go with the yellow. Uh, more uh, consistent with the fog light, and uh, I think I feel better uh, about the yellow lights. Even though they may not match my A pillar, but that's fine. The A pillar are not fog lights. Uh, these are fog lights, so I think they should be yellow. So we're going to be installing them today. So here's the amber, and you can tell the amber is pretty ambery, and the yellow is pretty yellow. I think this one is the one that I'm gonna go with, and I'm gonna keep this for later. At first, I was going to remove my fog lights and then uh, install the, the filter, uh, not, not while the, uh, the, the fog light is on the Jeep. Uh, the fortunate thing is that it is kind of, uh, it comes out, it's not recessed. So I don't think I'm going to have any issues with installing this. So I'm just going to leave it on the vehicle. It is also uh, convex, so there's a bow to it, uh, to the light. So you have to kind of, uh, there's a difference. If, the, if it was completely straight, I probably would do a wet install. But since it's kind of a convex, um, don't feel right about doing it, so I'm just going to do it dry and so. Um, you probably can do both. Um, I'm just going to do it dry uh, because I feel better about it. Um, the filter comes with these tabs that, that allows you to hold on to the filters uh, when installing them. So that makes it very convenient. One thing that you need to make sure is to clean the lights prior to the installation. And I went ahead and I uh, clean as much as I could in there. I don't think they ever be this clean. So this way these will stick a lot better. And you're not gonna have uh, problems, uh, problems later on. Um, one thing I've been told, uh, according to Laminex, is that these are a breathable film. So even though they may get some bubbles, uh, they should go away after a few days. So we're going to try to get as little bubble as possible, but if you do get some, uh, you shouldn't worry about it too much. That's what I've been told. So we'll see. So let's get to it. I don't have any nails.
So there it is. So you do the same thing on the other side and it's done. Uh, just take your time. The uh, film is very manageable. If you miss some parts or it, like, there's a, a crease, just remove it and put it back on. You can do that a couple of times. And um, I think the result is pretty good. I, I like the uh, yellow. I think it works. We'll see. If I get tired of it, I can always remove it and put the amber on it. But I like the way it is. So that was the installation of the Laminex uh, fog light filter. Uh, very easy, really. It took me about 10 minutes. Uh, most of it, the time of cleaning um, the, the lights. Uh, and these things aren't that expensive. I think they were like $16. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe. And I'll see you next video. Until then, take care.